I'm a bit excited to uh, go through this product with you for a whole variety of reasons. It's a radon detector. Uh, radon, for any of you who don't know, is a, uh, uh, an odorless gas and one of the leading, if not the leading cause of non-smokers lung cancer. Uh, it's a big deal. I live uh, in the uh, Midwest here uh, in Kentucky and uh, we do have an issue with radon uh, where we are and uh, in, specifically in our uh, area where I live, uh, so just not in Kentucky. And uh, I have had my house mitigated about 10 years ago. We had uh, readings that were, I'm going to call them borderline because they were, uh, here in the basement. So I'm in the basement down here. And uh, half of the basement is below ground and half of the basement is above ground from front to back. And uh, a, a storage room that we had showed uh, that the radon levels were close to the highest they could be w while still being normal. Uh, so we had it mitigated and we have all the equipment in here <coughs> eliminating uh, radon. Subsequent tests showed that it had been a very, very successful uh, situation. Uh, however, I wanted to continue to test it from time to time and I have not for I think I've only done it twice in the past 10 years. So this is a this uh, particular radon detector is battery operated, which means it's portable, and it has a few other uh, positive things about it. No lab fees. You used to uh, uh, leave it out, leave the uh, item out, let it take uh, in the air, then you would put it in an envelope, send it, someone would read it, they would send you back the results, etc., etc. Uh, in this case, there are no lab fees, so it's a one-time payment. So, there, so it costs a little bit more, but you only pay for it uh, one time. It takes 24 hours to get uh, your results uh, versus before waiting days to take the test and then another week or so to get the results back. Uh, it says it's accurate, but we'll find uh, that out. Uh, it talks a little bit on the back about what radon is, and I've already uh, told you just a little bit. Uh, this does say it, it is the leading cause of lung cancer uh, for non-smokers, so it, it is very dangerous. I already mentioned fees. This I see is designed in Norway and manufactured in Tunisia. It's a unique uh, combination. Uh, and that's, uh, I hope that means that th that's very good. Uh, again, it's accurate, it's portable, and all we have to do is enter the measurements online and we get a printable report. So it seems really simple, seems good, seems like uh, everything is right and it's, it is exactly what I wanted. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, let's go ahead and open it. Uh, it's one of those where I don't imagine there'll be a a uh, big deal in opening the box, but uh, let's go ahead and do a box opening. And here we go. And there it is. So step one is there's the meter. And I'm going to try to do something with the light here. So there's the meter, and you can see it's uh, got a shiny front here. Um, and let's see, it looks like the batteries might already be in it. Uh, AAA batteries on the back. It just simply says either uh, reset or mode, and I'll look at the instructions in a minute. There's the actual unit itself, and uh, let's go through the instructions with you, and uh, we'll see what we've got. I, I assume I'm going to have to <laughs> do a reset. There are instructions. They're rather simple, and uh, you can see they're in a variety of different uh, uh, languages. And I, there's English, two versions, and there's, of course, uh, the English U.S. version, which is the one I'd be most interested in. So let's take a look. By the way, I'm going to let this recording uh, not finish out until I've tested uh, down in this basement. There's four specific areas. Uh, there's two underground, uh, one uh, where I am right now, one over to the left, which is where we watch... Uh, television straight ahead in this direction over here which I know you can't see very well is another room uh, 
Uh, that one is above ground, and that's like a playroom. And then to the left of that is one other room, uh, and that other room is uh, a storage room, and that's where the original uh, issue was. I have gone ahead and I have reset it, which takes, uh, re which eliminates all the data that's in it. Number one, and then number two is it starts it uh, uh, to take the uh, readings, and then I clicked mode, and what that does is it resets the day to day zero, which uh, on the bottom showed as day zero for just a minute. You can see here it says day one. Um, here's the long term and the short term average. So we're going to go ahead and monitor that over the next 24 hours, see what we have. Um, I may keep it longer depending on what kind of numbers come up. So I'm starting here in this room uh, that I already told you I'm in. And then uh, we'll move it over towards the TV area. Then we'll move it over to the game area. Then we'll move it over into the storage area. We'll take all four of those readings. We'll put them on to the uh, website that they've proposed that we use. And we will show you that data so you'll know exactly what's going on. We are just about at the 24 hour mark, so we can get our first reading. And uh, so right now, of course, the short and the long term will be uh, the same. Let me try to get, uh, so it's 2.45 right now. And you can see here it says one day. So short term, one day. Uh, I'm in the basement that's below uh, the ground. And if you remember, let's see if we can get a good view of this. So right now we're in the ventilate and monitor, uh, the two to four range, uh, though we're in the lower part of it. So that is good news. Uh, so let's uh, keep watching this a little bit longer and then I'll move it to the uh, other parts uh, of the basement and keep you up to date as we continue to do this. So, so far so good. Okay, it's been a few more hours, and currently where we are is you can see the long-term average is 2.29, short-term, one day, 1.89, and so that's been continuing to come down all day. It's only been, uh, you know, just over 24 hours, not too long, not too much off of that. Coming down, uh, the short-term, uh, coming down under two is great. I uh, want to see that continue to come down. I've gone ahead, and you can see a little circle from the light. Uh, but anyway, I've gone ahead to make a, uh, uh, a nice little spreadsheet here. And uh, I'll use that spreadsheet to, uh, to keep track for just a little while and show you how we're doing. So you could see that uh, the short term has been coming down, uh, the long term staying just about where it was. Let's take a look at how we're doing. It's, uh, this was my fifth reading I took, and it uh, is in the same location. And it's been 24, 36, right around uh, 40 hours, 42 hours. So let's take a look here. You can see the short-term reading is 1.37 uh, for one total day, long-term 2.29. So the long-term, has not changed. Let me show you these readings. I'm going to shut off the light and let's show you this. So let me shut the light and so hoping you could see it. So the short term, the short term readings are at this column here and you can see it started at 2.45 and now it's 1.37. It fluctuated up just slightly. Long-term reading has been 2.29 uh, now for uh, oh, about um, 15 hours. So we're going to do it just a little bit more today, and then we're going to move on. So, uh, so far it's reacting okay. Short-term reading is good. Uh, I'm in the furthest part of the basement from where the uh, uh, mitigation has occurred. So th this should be the highest reading I will have in the entire basement. We are going to document, maybe for the last time, I'm not sure, 
Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can get a good look here without that light being in your eye. Um, right now, it is uh, the uh, long term is 1.59 and the short term is 1.29. Uh, both of them under two, which is what we want. Uh, and it's long term. It's been over 48 hours now. So let me put these numbers in 1.59 and 1.29. So let's see if you could see here. So I'm going to put in a uh, short term reading 1.29 here. Then we'll put in the long-term reading, which is 1.59. And I think we have enough information uh, for this particular one. I'm going to let it run overnight and we're done. Uh, I think it works fine. I think it's uh, doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Um, and the numbers have moved around like they're supposed to. Assuming there's no major movement, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll cancel this and I'm going to move it to three other spots here in the basement. Uh, but it seems to work. It seems to work fine. And uh, I highly encourage anybody in an area that has radon issues to take a look at getting this product.